All right, so today we're going to watch a clip of Mark Levin, Fox News' serious Fox host. He's a serious host because he only does the show once a week. That makes him the serious Fox News host because the six other days he has better things to do, like a radio show. And Ben Shapiro do some of the just most blatantly false propaganda regarding what's going on with Israel right now. And it doesn't necessarily have to do with what's actually happening in Gaza and in Israel. It has to do with them criticizing the media because according to Ben and Mark, the American media, and no, I'm not making this up, the American media has an anti-Israel bias. They have an anti-Israel bias, the mainstream media in America. Here it is. Ben Shapiro, that the greatest ally the terrorists have in the United States is the American media. Just as it was the greatest ally of the Nazis by covering up the Holocaust, the American media has Jewish and other blood on its hand and has for decades and decades and decades. And it seems like they don't take a corrective course either, do they? I, 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 where, 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 where the fuck are you seeing that? You think they have an anti-Israel bias? Where? Go on CNN and Fox News. Turn either of them on right now. And if they're covering it, I guarantee you they're saying the same exact shit. Go on MSNBC. I saw a clip yesterday. I don't have this pulled up. But I saw a clip yesterday of MSNBC covering what was happening in Israel and Gaza. And they are, even they are pro-Israel. Where? I mean, they're saying that they're pro-terrorist, which is fucking... You, we know that that's not real. I mean, that's just completely unbelievable. But go in and look what, which, where, what media company, what station, what news outlet is sitting there having an anti-Israel bias. And if we're going to talk about the big networks, it's such a fucking lie. That's so, that's such a fucking lie. And then he's just covering up the Holocaust. What are you talking about? I know that there are Holocaust deniers, but what the fuck is he, what is he talking about? No, it's, it's absolutely despicable. I mean, the American media, again, has drawn a moral parity between Israel and its enemies for decades at this point. They I don't understand. Dude, no. No. They don't fucking talk about the fucking god-awful conditions of people living in Gaza on the mainstream media ever. What the fuck do these... Where do these people live? Under a fucking rock? This is so disingenuous at fucking best and fucking disgusting, nasty propaganda at worst. Fuck Ben Shapiro. That is such a fucking lie. The American government and all of the mainstream American media 100% unabashedly backs pro-Israel. This is such a fucking lie, dude. Tend that what... Hamas really wants its territorial dispute, or the PA, it's a territorial dispute. I don't know. Dude, this is, again, something else. I, I just, I don't know. I, I haven't seen anyone going on TV and saying, yeah, go Hamas. Show me. You show me. If, if we're going to talk about mainstream media, you show me where that's happening. Anybody, right now, anyone watching this video, Ben, Shapiro, if you're watching the fucking video, show me. Where the fuck is this happening at? It's not. It's not fucking happening anywhere. They're just lying about it. They're just making it up, and their audience is going to eat this shit up. They're not going to go and look it up for themselves because, number one, they don't care. And number two, they think these guys actually know what the fuck they're talking about, which is really fucking sad. Islamic Jihad, they literally say to your face, this is the part that's astonishing, Hamas will say to your face what they want is to kill Jews. The PA will say to your face what they want is all of Jerusalem, not part of Jerusalem. The, the Islamic Jihad will tell you to your face all of this stuff in their educational materials for their kids. They put this stuff, and the entire American media looks the other way and pretends it's not happening. They say, well, we, but we can, we can examine your ulterior motive. We know what you're really thinking. And this really goes to the absolute arrogance of a lot of Western liberals, and that is I, everyone I, thinks like they do. I, this is uh, – I actually filmed a video that I wasn't able to post about Ben Shapiro trying to call out Hassan Piker. Um, one of my favorite creators, and in the video, one of the he was playing a really, really powerful clip of Hassan um, talking about what's going on in Gaza. He also censored the clip and also cut the clip off uh, halfway through because you know he's a Republican grifter. You have to do the grift. Um, but that was he was prefacing the clip with saying that all Western or uh, all liberals uh, assume that everyone else thinks like they do, and. 
I just, I just, I don't, I don't see that. He just makes shit up just to make it up, just to stay relevant. They, these people have to make shit up to stay relevant. It's part of being a Republican grifter. None of the shit they're talking about, none of the shit that they have said is real in any way, shape, or form. Okay? They really believe that members of Hamas, they're just, they think maybe, they're like, differently about a few things, but in general, they're reasonable people who just want certain things. Robert Malley, who is the Iranian, apparently... I like how, I, I still, and this is this is the main issue here, aside from whatever, they're not talking about what the fucking actual goddamned issue is. They're not talking about what's really going on. And I already talked, I already said that they're lying about everything, which they are, but... They're sitting here, they're having this conversation, and they're talking about, like, what Western liberals think and how they have, what their mindsets are. They're not talking about how the apartheid regime of Israel negatively affects the Palestinians and the, uh, uh, and Jewish people, okay? It negatively affects them both. Obviously, it, it, way worse for Palestinian people, but the apartheid regime is they they hold all of the power. They're sitting here saying, oh, well, Hamas is this, Hamas is that. Hamas does not have any real power, okay? When it comes to this conflict, if that's what you want to call it, which I don't think that I don't, I've used that, and I, but I don't think that's an appropriate term because all of the power, and the reason I don't think that's an appropriate term, the reason I'm saying this is because all of the power is in the hands of the Israeli government. End of story. That's the facts. So when I hear this, when I hear these people say this shit, they're just they're not having the right conversation. And I, I mean, I don't expect any less from someone like Mark Levin and Ben Shapiro over here. It's just it's fucking ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Yo, it's disgusting. Inside the Biden administration who had to be kicked out of the Biden administration because he may have been actually co-opted by the Iranians. Are we going to talk about if we're going to talk about this shit? Are we going to talk about like Trump and all of his corruption and then all of the people in Trump's administration and how corrupt they are? I before I started filming this, I saw a video. This is totally off topic, super off topic. Sorry, I have to go on this tangent, though, because I just I have to mention it. I saw a clip of Michael Flynn asking people for money at an event and passing a fucking basket around asking people for money. And he said, I didn't like to do this, but I got hit with another subpoena. Are we going to talk about all of Trump's shit, too? Because they love to shit on Biden. But are we are we just not going to shit on Trump? OK, seems fair. He was giving speeches not all that long ago talking about the magic of Hamas and how Hamas was a normal political movement. You might think that they're crazy genocidal maniacs, but they're, they're not. They're actually really, really good people who are just attempting through different political means to do what they're doing. The, the media buys into that same nonsense because. No, they don't. No, the fuck they don't. No, none of the media is getting up there. None of the media, since this shit has popped off, none of the media has gotten up there. And even before then, even before this, they have not fucking gotten on and said, oh, yeah, um, you know, uh, free Palestine, uh, Israel bad. Uh, you know, uh, we don't think that the uh, the Israeli apartheid regime is, uh, you know, really, really working out that well. They don't do that. They've never done that. This is just such a fucking lie. When it comes to this particular conflict, maybe the only conflict where the media does this, when it comes to this particular conflict, the media has decided in their heads that they, the media has decided that it does not matter what the Israeli government does. It is justified. I don't care where you go. I, I, you could go turn on the farthest right uh, fucking news network and then go turn on something like CNN and they're going to be saying the same shit, the same shit. It just might be worded differently. They are all 100% unabashedly pro-Israel, okay? So, I mean, they talk about this, and they say this, but then they don't show you any evidence. They don't show you what they're talking about. They just assume, they want you to assume that what they're talking about is right. They just want you to believe them blindly. It's the same, it's the same type of shit that I used to get taught in school. You just have to blindly follow. No. That's fucking crazy. That's what a cult is, okay? These people are part of a cult. That like the actually. Western country has to be wrong by nature. It's just wrong by nature. And because it's wrong by nature, that means that anything that happens to that country must inevitably have been caused by the quote-unquote occupation, even if what you're talking about here— Quote-unquote occupation. Do you see what I mean? Do you see what I mean? There's not even any point. There's no point in even engaging with this anymore. 
quote unquote occupation. What the fuck would you call it, Ben Shapiro, if it's not an occupation according to your quote unquotes? What the fuck is it then, Ben? Can you explain this to me? It's an unoccupied terrible, Gaza. Terrible, terrible, Israel pulled out in 2005. The, the victims are living in unoccupied <laughs> area. They're not living in the settlements. They're living in the, the south of Israel, which has been part of Israel since 1947-48. And even if the people getting slaughtered are disproportionately people of the political left, which is exactly what happened at this electronic dance music festival. It doesn't matter to them at all. The facts are completely irrelevant to the narrative. I mean, he is right about that. Ben, you're definitely right about that. Facts are completely irrelevant to your narrative, Ben. One million percent. Facts are 100% irrelevant to your narrative 100% of the time with literally every single thing you say, no matter what it is. Well, very, very well said. It just amazes me. <laughs> no, it wasn't. This administration also, they rearm okay, the Iranians. So that's, There's no uh, other way to... That's the end of the clip there. Uh, you know, just literally lies from front to back. I don't know if anything in that clip right there that was said was true or genuine or you know, real in any context. Um, again, I don't expect any less. It's Mark Levin and Ben Shapiro. I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be a shit show no matter what. That's gonna be it for the video. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, press that bell, turn on all notifications so you guys never miss an upload.